The nurse claims she saw me kill a cop. She says she saw you at the scene standing over the body with the murder weapon. You recover the weapon? Yeah, right here. So she, it's just like the weapon was no, used no, to kill that, Allison. No, no, that is the same weapon. Dante, that's not possible. That weapon's down in the evidence room. No, someone it. removed it. Someone removed it? Well, you check the footage, all right? If someone signed out for it, they should be there. Yeah, way ahead. So as you can see, it's a pretty clear picture. How can you be going to Pentonville? I thought the whole point of pleading to a lesser charge was so that you wouldn't go to prison. Well, I won't be an inmate, but I'll be working at Pentonville as part of my suspended sentence. At Pentonville? Are they crazy? You don't belong there. Well, the judge said community service. Well, I thought they were going to let you work on some adolescent hotline or something. I don't know, maybe pick up trash in the park. I guess the judge thought it'd be a good idea for me to see what prison life is really like. No wonder you couldn't sleep. Actually, I'm starting to feel pretty sleepy after all. I think I'm going to take that nap. Um, thanks. Talking, it really helped. Yeah, anything I can do, you know that. Are you going to eat that? Yeah. I mean, I, I will later. Unless you want it. No, no, I was just going to take the tray down to the kitchen. No, I got it. You go get some sleep. Okay. Thanks, Molly. Good night. Okay, she's gone. I'm really sorry about the sandwich, but you can start on this one and I'll go make you another. Look, Molly, I, I can't stay here, okay? I mean, it's not fair. I can't cause problems for you and the people you care about. You let me worry about the people I care about. I signed up for auto alerts from the Sun. It says that Rafe's out of jail. Well, let's see what they've got on their homepage. Well, uh, it's not saying that he escaped. But it's saying he's at large, which doesn't make him sound exactly innocent. Well, it's hard to tell what it's saying. Maybe it's enough to convince Molly she's putting her faith in the wrong guy. You make a good point about forgiveness. All I can do is ask. It's up to Felicia and Max, see if they want to give me another chance. I was thinking maybe tomorrow night we could have dinner, the three of us. Felicia and I have plans. Do you? Yeah, well, I was uh, going to surprise you, but uh, there's a Valentine's Day party at the Hornet Star. Thank you, Mac. I would love that. <laughs> Anna, Laura has her own life in Paris. We've been over for a long time. Yeah, but have you ever felt what you felt with her with anyone else? No, you haven't. It was a remarkable time in my life. Right. But it's over. And it's been over for years. The worst possible thing is to try to recapture the past. It poisons the present. Right. And it twists your memories so that you can't even recognize them anymore. Life moves in one direction, Slim, forward. I pride myself on appreciating my past and then letting it go and moving on. I think maybe you and I, we have different expectations for our lives, you know? And isn't it better that we realize it now? You know, don't you think so? So this is goodbye. You helped get me back on my feet after I lost Robin, and I'll never forget that. And I'll always be grateful to you. You don't for have that. to be grateful. Yes, I was happy I do. to do it. I was happy just to be near you. You are an amazing woman. Oh, God. No, I'm not. Have the Metro Corp. <laughs> <laughs> it's not quite Paris.
I just want our family to be happy, that's all. And if Anna makes your dad happy, Lulu, then... we need to talk. I... I'm sorry to interrupt. I... Um, can we do this later? My, my mother and I are catching up. You're Laura? Yes. Hi. And you are? Hi. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm Star Manning. I know that that was very rude, but I... My late fiancé read me this story about poor Charles, something about a left-handed boy and freezing the town, and... Uh, Luke and Laura, you're a legend. You were star-crossed lovers. Yes, we were. We still are. I'm so sorry, can we do talk later? It's I mean, you know what, why don't you two talk now? Because I really need to unpack and I need to get some sleep. Okay, well, you're staying at the... Metro Court, okay. I will call you tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Yay, I love you. I'm so happy to see you. Oh, <laughs> me too, honey. Me too. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Sorry okay. about that. Uh, so what's up? What do you want to talk about? Johnny Sakara. Someone with a 20 year bit. You're not thinking about me. Thinking about somebody else. Johnny is being transferred to Pentonville as we speak, but he asked me to come see him. He was tortured by what he did, and I know it's no excuse, but I know that he was very sorry. And he said that this isn't about buying forgiveness, but I'm not sure if I believe him. It seemed very important to him, so I accepted. Accepted what? Johnny gave me his half of the Haunted Star. I'm your new partner. <sighs> <laughs> Valentine's Day. Yeah, I never was much of a Valentine's Day guy. It's just a day to me. If you're really in love, what's one day compared to a lifetime? How ironic coming from you. No, the idea is just to simply show appreciation for the one you love. Give him a special day. A special acknowledgement to let them know they come first with you. And as a girl who loves champagne and chocolate, I am very grateful for the person who invented Valentine's Day. <laughs> Talk to Maxie, please. Pick a date. I'd like to have that dinner together. I'm not giving up on either one of you. Happy Valentine's. Promise me, you'll ignore him. The police are asking for help finding Rafe. Anyone who's seen him is supposed to call in. Oh, well, then I better want Molly. He's out there. Yeah. Oh, right. This is great. God, I'm glad you like it. Look, as soon as I've eaten, I'll take off. No, you won't. Technically, I'm a fugitive. There's nothing technical about it. You walked out of police custody. You're definitely a fugitive. What I mean is I... I don't want to drag you down with me. My mom's an attorney. She's not afraid of the cops, and neither am I. TJ? Molly, Molly, uh, are you okay? I'm fine, why? R Rafe is out of jail. Yeah, I know. It's all over the news. The police are looking for him. They can't find him. Uh, maybe I should come over and check on you. No, no. Um, it's late, and my sister's supposed to be sleeping. I can't have people over. But thank you for calling. I'll see you tomorrow. And now I've got you lying to your boyfriend. I didn't lie to him. But you will. If I have to. You aren't the kind of girl who will do this, Molly. You don't lie. How do you know? Your room? Your sister was right. You're neat, you're on time, you're nice. These are bad things? No. They're perfect. I've never been neat or on time in my life. You're nice. I don't know how nice I am. I'm, I'm putting you in danger. How? Two people have been killed. Even more reason for you to stay here. Why you lie to everyone? Maybe hiding you is wrong, but it feels right. So until we can figure out a way to keep you out of danger, you're staying. So what is the timeline on this exactly? Right before John took Rafe out of his cell with Carlson. Hey, look, I don't care what's on the surveillance camera, all right? I didn't take a weapon out of the evidence room. I sure as hell didn't take Rafe out of his cell. Except it kind of looks like you did. Hey, I don't know what's going on, all right? I can't explain those images, but you know me. 
I didn't kill anyone. I'm sorry, John. I, you know, with the footage and the eyewitness, I don't have any choice. You're under arrest. Charles. <laughs> yeah, I did see Luke. And I think we should go ahead with our plans. 